couldn't be back to the house of the Lord. Good to have an opportunity to read some of the scriptures of the church. And, uh, we'll come with the notions of uh, getting everybody excited, but I do say this, that I, I, I'm going to read your scriptures, and uh, it'll encourage you. And I, that's, my, that's my thing here, is just to encourage people. Uh, and so this morning, you would turn to uh, Luke, Book of Luke, chapter 13, verse 6, where we want to start our reading at. And uh, this, as I was speaking to you this morning, this ought to encourage you if you if you think on what what the, the Lord was speaking about uh, here. He is all of this is his word and uh, uh, it's, it's consider concerning the uh, the fig tree which is Israel mm -hmm. and we know that Israel disobeyed God to the point where that he went to the Gentile and this 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 morning is a great uh, uh, pleasure a great uh, thing to me to know that that God cared enough about us the Gentile to uh, set them over to the side for a while and uh, give us an opportunity. Mm -hmm. And we have this opportunity and then to, to accept him as our savior and to uh, uh, serve him all of our lives. So here in verse six of the uh, chapter 13, that he spake also at this parable, a certain man had a fig tree. Now he don't call him and just say a certain man and in his vineyard and he he came and sought fruit thereon and found none then said he unto the dresser of this vineyard behold these three years i come seeking fruit on this fig tree and find none cut it down why cumber it or why waste the ground it is on and he answered and said unto him, Lord, let it alone this year also, till I shall dig about it and dung it or fertilize it. And it, if it bears fruit, well, and if not, then after that, thou shalt cut it down. Mm -hmm. So this morning we see uh, the uh, dresser of the vineyard, uh, that is, he's taking the same attitude that Moses had when Moses was uh, uh, being tormented by all of the uh, uh, Israelites complaining about what they had and they wanted to go back to the uh, Egypt and all of this. And so God told, God told Moses, he said, I'm going to kill them all. Mm -hmm. I'm going to kill them all. And he meant it. But you know, like the vineyard, like the dresser of the vineyard, there, you know, there is someone that can that's praying for us. Mm -hmm. There's someone that is uh, helping us to and wanting to help us to uh, encourage our hearts to uh, think upon the things that we need to do because here the fig tree, of course, as I said, it was it was Israel. Amen. And Israel just would not obey what God said. They were they was out and, and uh, even when they were out in the uh, you remember the uh, wilderness, they complained and ached and complained and, and, and all of this. And Moses Moses nearly went crazy about this thing. But here we see us in verse uh, six. Here he says he. He spake also this parable, and which I'm saying, when also means that he was speaking the other ones prior to this. And so he says, and a certain man, uh, and I think that what he's saying is here that God had a, uh, a nation that was to be uh, under him, and he loved because he said that it was the apple of his eye. And so <laughs> this man had a fig tree in his vineyard. And so we see that his vineyard was uh, uh, more than more than one 
uh, thing because of vineyard was uh, uh, like trees and things, but he had a, 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 a vineyard just for a lot of vine, I mean, uh, uh, grapes grow, but the fig tree was planted in his vineyard and he come and sought fruit thereon and found none. So we see this morning that this is the same thing that happened to Israel when they come and uh, uh, was uh, called out of their country and went into captivity and come back out. Uh, they would not obey. Right. Every, everything that, uh, that uh, God wanted them to do, they were uh, disobedient to it. And Moses, he tell Moses, you tell my children to do this and to do that. And listen, they wouldn't listen. And this morning, you know, we thank the Lord this morning for God's word. Amen. And thank the Lord this morning for our pastor who preaches the, this word and how that he speaks the, the word that we need to hear. And we need to pay close attention to what he teaches because, listen, God ain't uh, just pick him up out and, and bring him over here in the United States a but he called him out. He chose him and he and he's he's working with him. And so this morning we as, as God's people need to really uh, and truly listen to him. And so this this uh, th this this man, this person uh, was upset because that the fig tree did not have no figs on it. Now you remember Back in, uh, I believe it is in Matthew's gospel, uh, the fig tree that he come up on, he looked and seen it, and in hopes that some figs would be on there, he would have something to eat. Mm -hmm. And so when he came, there was not any on it. And so he cursed the fig tree. Right. A type of Israel, again, when he said, hey, I'm not going to, I'm not going to, uh, uh, take care of you anymore you're going to have to take care of yourself in, in other words and so the, the old fig tree and they were amazed at it, how quick that it withered away mm -hmm. well it's the same way this morning with with uh, Israel and the country over there and listen they withered away and listen it hadn't been for uh, the United States uh, uh, trying to uh, and helping them uh, and through and, and it was through the leadership of, the, of, the, of God that's the way that he brought them back. And right. so uh, he has a way to do these things. And, and he said here, uh, he sought fruit their own and found none. And this morning, this should encourage our hearts because we need to bear fruit. Amen. And we don't need to uh, be disobedient and we don't need to uh, walk in a way that's not pleasing to God. But bearing fruit is the, the beauty of a tree mm -hmm. and bearing fruit is the beauty of a Christian and it pleases God for us to bear fruit and to uh, show uh, exalt him and tell others about him because he wants our he wants our, uh, our, our worship to towards him and he he wants other people to worship him also. He wants honor and he wants glory. Amen. He's going to get it because even as I was talking to you about this morning and, and, and uh, as Moses was uh, talking to him. And so God changed his mind or he had a change. And, uh, but he didn't forget it. Mm -hmm. And so down the road of three or four hundred years, when they went over into, or 40 years, I'm sorry, 40 years when they went over into the, to the promised land, there wasn't one over under or about 20 years old that went over. Mm -hmm. The rest of them that uh, he spoke about were well, disobedient. They died by the wayside. Right. And Caleb and Joshua was the one or two that went over uh, and led them into the promised land. And so he, he is a, a forgiving God and listen, if, if we want to, if we try to, to serve him, and when we do get out of the way, when we do sin, he's always just to, to forgive us of our sins Amen. And, and help us. And so, but listen, those that, that turn up their nose at God and say, oh, I, I don't, I don't want to serve you. Listen, there's a payday coming for them. <laughs> so this morning, 
I hope this will uh, I'll be something that will get you thinking. Uh, and then he said here in verse 7, Then said he unto the dresser of the vineyard, Behold, these three years. Now, I notice, I wonder that the three, why I said three years. And, of course, I, I'm sure that uh, maybe the tree is just three years old. But three years was about the time that when Jesus came and, and was uh, baptized of, 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 uh, there in the water, uh, that from three years on, and, and then he he had he went to the cross. But anyway, the three years, the three years here, he comes seeking fruit on the fig tree, and find none to cut, and, and, and to find none. And so he was disappointed in his loving uh, nation, and he said, uh, he said, cut it down. Now the same way, I, and I'm gonna I'm gonna read something to you this morning in Isaiah five. I've got it marked here in Isaiah five one. It tells about this garden. It tells about this nation, and it tells what how he loved his nation. But he says in verse one of, of Isaiah five, I will sing to my well beloved a song of my beloved. Touching his vineyard. Amen. My well beloved have a vineyard in a very beautiful place, a fruitful hill. And he fenced it and gathered it out the stones thereof and planted it with the choicest vines and built a tower in the midst of it and also made a wine press therein. And he looked that it should bring forth grapes and it brought forth wild grapes. Mm -hmm. And so the wild grapes are the type of uh, worldly things uh, that just, it just it's nothing tame about it. It's, 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 it's something that just sprouts up anywhere it wants to. It. And so he said it was full of wild grapes or, or full of the, the nation of Israel was full, full of disobedient people. And so he says, now, O inhabitants of Jerusalem and men of Judah, Judge, I pray you, betwixt me and my vineyard. What could have I, what could have been done more to my vineyard? And Isaiah asking, writing this down under the leadership of the Lord, and the, and, and here Jesus, uh, uh, the Lord saying to, what could have, what could have, what could I have done more? He 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 built his, he built it around it. He gathered the stones out of it. He he planted a tower in it where they could watch over it. And he'd done all of this. And it's the same way with the nation of Israel. That's mm -hmm. what he did for them. He 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 loved them and he 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 built them a place, a, a nation, and, and all of this. And, and what happened? He said they just disobeyed him. Right. So he, he asked the question then, what could I have done more? And now go to in verse five. Go to, I will tell you what I will do to my vineyard. I will take, I will take away the hedge thereof, or the protection. Mm -hmm. uh, you won't get any more protection because uh, you disobeyed. And that's, right. that's how that they uh, uh, got in the shape they were in. So uh, he said, uh, <clears throat> He said, I will take away the hedge thereof, and it shall be eaten up and broke, break down the walls thereof, and it shall be trodden down. And the city was trodden down. You remember mm -hmm. when Rome come in and tore the temples and all this down? Uh, it, it, it happened. Mm -hmm. And here again, I, and, and I will lay it waste. It shall not be pruned nor digged, but there shall come up briars and thorns, and I will also command the clouds that they rain no rain upon it. And uh, you know, uh, when I see this year, I think about when we have dry spells or when we have real rain spells, and oh Lord, I don't know when it's going to quit. Well, it's going to quit when the Lord takes it up to time, I mean, when He wants it to. And so He said here that he brought the rain upon it. And, uh, uh, and, and then verse seven, it says, for the vineyard of the Lord of hosts is the house of Israel. Mm -hmm. And the men that Judah has, 
has plants, plants, and he looked for judgment, but behold, oppression for righteousness, but, but behold, a cry. Woe unto them that join house to house, that lay field to field, till there be no place that they may be placed along in the midst of the earth. In my ears, said the Lord of hosts, of a truth, many houses shall be desolate, even great and fair without inhabitants. Mm -hmm. And he goes on to tell about the acreage and how the how much of a crop it will get, and it will it will not because of the drought. And if you remember, uh, that's what brought Israel over into Egypt. Mm -hmm. uh, they got for the, there was no rain; it was a drought, and they heard about the Egypt and the and, and what was over there, and so. That's what took them over there to get food for their animals and all this, and eventually they come over, and so that's this is this is some of the stuff that's that uh, happened to them, and and he says also I want to read you this, and Lord, war to them that rise up early in the morning that they may fall strong drink, that continue until night till wine inflames them. <laughs> And the harp and the vial and the tarpet and the pipe and wine are in their feast, but they regard not the work of the Lord, neither consider the operation of his land. And I right. told you this morning, uh, you know, a lot of people say, well, that's not, that's not encouraging. Well, it should be. Mm -hmm. It should be because it should show you the power of God and what he can do for you. Amen. And what he can take away from you, and uh, it would encourage you to uh, serve the Lord in a greater way. Now he says here in uh, in uh, back in our lesson in uh, verse six and verse eight, uh, and he answered, saying unto them, Lord, let it alone this year, talking about the fig tree, till I dig about it and dung it, and if it bears fruit well. And if not, then after that, I shall cut it down. And I'm sure that the the dung in around it, the work that the, the keeper done to it, didn't have any effect on it. Well, I know it didn't because we see how by a type of Israel, the we see what happened to Israel, and they never they never accepted the Lord. Uh, they never tried to do anything that was uh, pleasing to Him, and so the 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 dresser of the uh, Daniel cut it down, and that's what God did to Israel. Like he cut it down. You bet. So now I want you to see something again this morning in in uh, Romans eleven. <clears throat> Romans eleven thirteen. Romans 11, 13, For I speak to you Gentiles, inasmuch as I am the apostle of the Gentiles, I magnify my office. If by any means I may provoke to jealousy or humiliation them which are my flesh, and might save some of them. For if the casting away of them be the reconciliation of the world, what shall the receiving of them be but life from, from the dead? For if the first fruit be holy, talking about Abraham's uh, uh, time with the Lord, for if the first fruit be holy, the lump is also holy, and if the root be holy, so are the branches. And if some of the branches be broken off, which was uh, Israel, and thou, and thou being a wild olive tree, uh, it was, uh, he's talking about it, the branches was, was coming off of the, the, the fig tree, and, and they were going to be grafted, grafted in among them which had with, with them. For, let me read this. Redresses, partaking of the root and fatness of the olive tree. Mm -hmm. Boast not against the branches, but if thou boast, thou bearest not the root, but the root thee. And so mm -hmm. he's 
He's speaking of this nation of Israel in this, in this sense, how that he set them aside and he broke off some of the branches off of them and he, gra he, he, he grafted them in to the Gentile nation or uh, a type of the Gentile nation in a wild tree. And the wild tree grew great figs. Amen. And, and, and God, uh, God loved that and he, he has blessed the Gentile nation and he has sent, since that time, he has sent prophets to tell them about the things that needs to be done. He's, he's given them a, a, a country that uh, so far is, is not taken over. And so things, things can go well with a nation that serves God. Amen. And he says this, I, I, want, I want to see, read you this in verse 19. That will say then, branches were broken off that I might be cracked in. Well, because the unbelief will be broken off, be back in the and that's the Israel, and look, and have an and long journey to read the scriptures. Be not high-minded, uh, but fear will come with thee. For if God's prayer is not of, the natural uh, one, get me about the excited, but a Jewish nation that absolutely so is not taking the read your scripture, he also is not the encourage. Behold, that's my thing here is to encourage people. Uh, God, and so this morning on the altar, you tell us a verity, go towards the goodness. If thou continue in this goodness, otherwise thou find all the churches are And that's a warning to us now. Well, that's a warning. It's been a warning to us ever since verse 6. We were grafted in. And he started says, reading at. In verse 23. And, uh, and they this also are speaking to you. Still in unbelief. This encourages you to our first day of life. And unbelief shall be grafted in. Speaking about. For God is here. He is grafted in. This is his word talking about the nation. If they don't believe in Jesus Christ, they don't believe in God, and he went to the Gentile. And this Christ was the Son of God. And so, listen, one of these days, one of these days, their eyes will be open and they'll see to know that God can't have a bound of us. The Gentile to the Gentiles, and, and we're going to be that fool out of the tree, and take a loss, and they're going to go back in their own ways, and they're going to have to accept him as our Savior, and they're going to follow the Lord Jesus Christ. And so here, all of our lives. So here, in verse six of the if thou chapter thirteen, that he spake also, which is wild by nature, a certain man contrary to fig tree, two days on the list of certain man. How much and more shall be in his vineyard, the natural branch, he came and saw their, their own their own so and found them. There, there it's going to be a quick thing with them. Then said he unto when that man rests when that man is on the crops and ice, behold, I mean, they're here, they're a nation again, I they're going to see the fruit of the fig tree, and, and it's going to be an exciting time. If, yeah, but if, uh, if any of us get to live to see it, I don't know how when much the ground is going to take place on it. Will and, and he uh, and was a rapture of one anyway. It had been a long time, time because this year, year it, also, uh, uh, Israel is so I shall dig uh, a uh, mine in. Been a dumb bed all this year. But now, back in the lesson, if it bears fruit, well, in just a minute. And if not, then after that, thou shalt cut it down. In verse 8, this boy answered and said to him, Lord, let it on the this uh, year's dresser also of the evangelist uh, and done. And that is, if it bear fruit, takes well, the same attitude that Moses had when he was teaching in one of the synagogues on the Sabbath. He was, was, was telling uh, uh, all the Jews and complaining and the about what they had and they were going to go back to the more uh, Egypt and all of this. The, 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 and, and so God told the Pharisees and all of them, Moses 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 and all of them, so mm -hmm. this morning, I'll do it in and three minutes. minutes. One of the little things. But you know, I'll, I'll, I'll be like uh, the dresser of the closing. But in there, you know, you know there is someone that can as praying for us. There's someone that is hard. Uh, and and John, John and won't God help us to verse four and ten. Encourage our hearts to verse one. Think upon the things that we need to do because 
Mitch here, Dean, the big three, I'm going to say it again, it was good. not your heart, and Israel just would not, not. this is a troublesome time say. in our country, they were, they our were country out is, and, and, is uh, in good shape, we're out in the, just like uh, it was, was with the, uh, here, when Will and uh, Jesus they said, complained uh, and they ate and rained, and, uh, and, and all uh, this, he cried, Moses said it went crazy, he'll take care of us, but here he will take care of us because in verse we're his uh, children. Six, here, and he, he says he enjoys. He spake also watch this us, and he enjoys hearing us when ask him uh, for things. things. And listen prior to this. That's what we need. So we don't need. He says that a certain man say, "Well, uh, and I, I guess the Lord's going to say this. The Lord's going to stop this right. I don't guess the Lord's going to do this. I'm a nation." Well, that was to be uh, a hundred you know, that he loved because he said that he was the apple of his eye. This he's man had a fig tree in his, his vineyard. We just saw to see that his vineyard uh, was a uh, can uh, just more than more than one uh, because uh, I know because the vineyard was a black tree and thing, but he had a stand, and so we have vineyard just in for a long time. So he said, "Let us cross me." Tree was you planted, believe in God, believe in his vineyard, and he come and, and saw my fruit in their own mansions and Amen. found. So, so we see I this morning you. that here this is the same thing, thing that happened and to me. If I go to the current place uh, I will come uh, with him uh, and receive you and call myself their country that were right into the captivity and come back out. Do I go? You know, they would not go away. Yes, right. so I don't find that question that, uh, that uh, God, God explained it to them about what disobedient the way it was. And Moses, he tells me, he tells my children, shortly after that, and that crossed the Calvary. How this, and went. this morning, and for you know, we thank the Lord this uh, morning, but he promised them that God's word. Amen. And thank you for this morning, for our pastor, and I'm going to come back to this word, and this word, and how to take it to heaven with me. And so we're this morning here, and we need to have his attention. Not that's what he teaches. That's one of the things that you need to think about. And uh, pick him up uh, and, and when you bring him when you can. And he calls you to pray. He chose him. And he, he, and he's, uh, it's, it's, he's working it's with all, him. This is what I'm right now. We as, as God's but people, we are ready and true to listen to him. And so, but anyway, this is a lesson. Hope that this is this been some man for his first year and uh, uh and it, it, it was a sad make you because because that the fig tree did not have a fig tree. Now you remember what that in the course. Hey, I believe it is a Matthew's God. It's 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 a good time. We just had enough knowledge about it. We left and seen it. If we could look at it, it's a good time. We could have some figs. A man is fine. That was fine. He would have something to eat. And so when he came, 